we meet up with Wade on the ranch for an early spring turkey hunt. This year has been really a cool year to me in a lot of ways. The conditions on, on the range that we you know, deer hunt and turkey hunt and do a lot of our projects on are better than I can remember them. I mean, we, it's just beautiful out here. But it's almost like spring sprung a month ago. I mean, it's, it's like we should be in May even though we're in April turkey hunting as we shoot this video right now. Everything about what I see out here is, is a month ahead. The way the birds are acting it reminds me of you know what I see out here when I'm traveling around in mud. I want a bird to gobble and come and strut and put on a show all the time. But I've learned over many years that that's not always possible. Uh, their actions and their moods change as the season goes on, as the weather changes, as the conditions change. And you as a hunter have to adapt and adjust to that. And by nature, I'm an impatient turkey hunter. If I can't get it done in 15 minutes, I want to go find one that's ready to get it done. But I've learned over the years that as the season draws down and as birds have received more pressure and as things change, I've got to become a patient turkey hunter. And by becoming a patient turkey hunter, my success rate in late season has really improved. When I talk about patience in turkey hunting, there is no absolutes. Don't think that this is the only rule or the only law out there. That's the one thing about a turkey that I can promise you. There's no 100% rule. Every day is gonna be different. Every encounter is gonna be different and you have to adapt and adjust. But some of the things that I've noticed, you can sit longer in one spot in the, in the late spring and wait birds out. Maybe hear them gobble off in the distance and then create a plan to sneak up on them or sit by a water hole or a strutting area or nearby some of the roosting areas and just wait them out. But when you do that and you go out at three o'clock and the sun doesn't set till 8.30, I believe there needs to be a national law that naps are legal. You can't tease a person that sits still for that long in a turkey lounger and, and not allow them to take a nap. But what you're really doing in my mind is you're listening for those birds. You're taking into consideration everything that's going on in, in that area when you pick that area. And you've put yourself in a position that's gonna allow you to ambush a bird or soft call a bird in quietly by taking the time to stay in one spot.